two job offers how you got those offers one is a campus placement one is off campus how you can get one offer from your college one offer off campus one offer trying to freelance he has all three of them they just give me all the five star i have rating of every single project on that day i got shortlisted for the on campus check as well i have given the first interview from 12:30 to 1:30 from on pay you and from 2 pm i have given three interviews of check and on the same day i got pay you internship offer and check internship and full time this is the one covered in the cohort too we yes, are trading backend i was having a really good set of projects trading backend system that you have developed the, on the linkedin as well as i have emailed over 2000 people but didn't got a single response. Hi everyone and welcome to a new pod. Today we have Rishab. Rishab is from Punjab Engineering College, which back in the day was my backup college if I wasn't able to crack my IIT JEE, uh, because my rank was getting me in there. And it is a good college of Punjab, probably one of the best ones, maybe the best college in Punjab. Um, he'll tell us how he has in the past freelanced and become a level one freelancer. He has two job offers, um, uh, both for around you know the standard like fifteen twenty LPA somewhere around that mark. Uh, how he got those offers? Uh. one is a campus placement one is off campus so we'll learn about his journey of how he has made you know uh, he's basically has sort of you could say on paper three offers uh, and he's eventually joining one of them how you can get one offer from your college one offer off campus one offer you know trying to freelance and you know getting your way into a us company he has all three of them we'll understand his journey so with that rishab can you start with an introduction yeah sure. thank you thank you for inviting me here so uh, i'm a i'm rishab bargav i am a fourth year student at punjab engineering college I'm currently doing electrical engineering there, so I'm in my last semester there. I'm currently doing an internship at Payu uh, in Gurgaon, and uh, where I we are building an open source alternative of Amazon Redshift. Oh wow! I didn't know that. That's very cool. Uh, is that like a small project? So it's a it's a way of creating an alternative of it because that's costing us a lot, and also the latency is huge. So that's why we are uh, looking for the open source one. Got it. But I would assume this is not a big part of the uh, the pay you uh, you know core payment infrastructure, right? So is this like a small team that's working on? That's an engineering initiative that we have done. So uh, I was working my, with my manager over there. So I, me, and my manager and my lead were working on this. Got it. Very cool. Amazing. And this is where you, you intend to join full time as well. So let's start with your freelancing journey. Like even before that, let's start with your coding journey. How did you learn to code? So uh, it started from around uh, in second year of my college where I've, I've started to build some projects, uh, small projects really, and started uh, with the DSA as well, side by side. So that uh, in the uh, because in the fifth semester of my college, internship companies come to uh, hire for it, and uh, so I was preparing basically for that. So hoping that I would get an uh, internship on on campus or anything like a uh, good company that would come, but. Uh, I didn't go, got a, even a single interview over there, so that uh, that uh, like uh, put me in a very depressing situation. And uh, I started uh, on the LinkedIn as well as I have emailed over two thousand people, hmm. and uh, but didn't got a single response even from the alumni of my college. Well, got a, didn't got a software interns. So then eventually I've started on the freelancing part and uh, also like. Uh, try to uh, get the projects whatever i have to learn at that time i just put a gig over there that this is what i am doing and eventually i would learn it and the projects that would be coming i would dig deeper into it so that i that deepens my understanding of that tech stack so that was the when i was doing that came around like on the 7th semester i was i was having a, a really good set of projects one was the trading project that a tra- trading backend system that you have developed one was it i have uh, i've also explained that in the interviews as well and oh nice uh, is it the one covered in the cohort too cohort too yes trading backend got it makes sense that i have also taken and other was uh, another chatbot project and uh, so uh, i was uh, having good with the projects i was uh, having uh, the dsa part as sorted So in the seventh seven semester, I was also applying for the off-campus internships or placements, and also uh, doing the interviews on on-campus. Mm-hmm. So on around sixth May, I was giving the last uh, interview of PayU. On that day, I got shortlisted for the on-campus check as well. 
I've given the three interviews. Uh, I've given the first interview from 12.30 to 1.30 from on Payu. And from 2 p.m. I've given three interviews of Czech. And on oh. the same day, I got Payu internship offer and Czech internship and full time offer. Got it. Very cool. Is Czech still doing well? Your stock was crashed after... Yeah, on the sea, yeah, that at that time it oh, crashed around 99%. Right. So, Is it recovering now? Are they doing good? No, I'm not following. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, have you used Chegg in college, like to make money? No, not a, uh, like just to get the answer from Telegram of the Chegg I used, but uh, not on a freelancing basis. Not, uh, got it. Makes sense. Okay, got it. Uh, cool. Can you take us through the interview process at... Maybe before that, take us through your freelancing gigs. How did you, what kind of gigs do you get? Um, and you know, how do you approach clients? How do you charge? So what this, what was happening? Like uh, af, when I didn't get the internship, so I just, uh, uh, I came to Delhi uh, to my cousin. He's a DevOps engineer. So I just uh, got to know like these are the different things like AWS and uh, CICD infrastructure uh, as code and different things that uh, he told, I got very fascinated about it. So I just uh, started to learn from it. I've also taken the cohort. So I was learning uh, backends and gain a solid understanding of it. Also learning from these AWS, Google Cloud, CICD pipelines and Terraform. So these things that I've started to learn, these are the gigs that I put uh, on, the, uh, on different platforms and uh, the clients just came automatically. I haven't just pushed or anything else. I've uh, given the work that you know, they have done and uh, they just uh, give me all the five star I have rating of every single person. Got it. Very cool. What kind of projects were these? Like front end, back end? All DevOps. All DevOps. Very cool. Wow. So yeah, in DevOps, like what what do people, why do people come to uh, Fiverr? They want to deploy their application simply or more complex projects? They could be as easy as the Lambda function. Uh, they have a understanding like uh, this is something that we want, you want to, we want to achieve. And uh, we want to do it. Uh, we want, do not want a server or everything that would be running all the time. So right. try to give a Lambda function of it and or a, uh, uh, the Google Cloud functions. And uh, this would give you a URL that you can use anywhere. So this right. would save their cost as well as they uh, won't be uh, needing any sort of uh, CICD pipelines for the code or any changes that they are doing good. So I write the logic in the Lambda functions, Google Cloud functions, also deploy the servers, auto scaling, load balancers, and also on the uh, CICD part as well. I, I do. Got it. Very cool. Makes sense. Um, okay, that's your freelancing journey. Take us through the check interview. So check interview was happening. Uh, it first, uh, it they just uh, uh, asked me a basic on the first interview. They asked me about what you are uh, doing and uh, for, but basically in the introduction phase. And uh, after that, uh, they asked me about uh, the project. They grilled me a lot on the trading backend project. I have explained it beautifully. They have also uh, tried to get the, uh, I, they also asked me to get uh, write the code. I also write the code, the, explain the logic, like how the stocks are getting executed and the order queue and uh, what are the pops up, what is Redis, how you are doing this, how you started the uh, containers of it, how they are interacting and uh, what sort of like, uh, what uh, data structures you have used for it and uh, just, uh, what language they have used. And so they grilled on me and everything and uh, ask uh, uh, like different questions around it. So I've explained it beautifully. Uh, and uh, it, the interview went from, went to around like uh, uh, to, uh, 130 to 145 minutes, one, uh, one hour, 45 minutes. So that was the first interview. And la lastly, they asked the DSA questions. And I have also, um, on the metrics they were, uh, it was on. So they, I was second, uh, interview just came after the 15 minutes of 15 minutes of it. So engineering managers or some high level people were taking that into me. And, uh, in that interview, it was, uh, mostly about the, how you have done the projects and, uh, in the introduction that I've said, I always share that I do freelancing and as well, these things. So. 
they also uh, grilled me on that like uh, why do it doing this or what kind of projects that you have made for them other people and what you have done in the this so why you are doing this and what uh, sort of money that you made and uh, uh, the projects basically on that so they were pretty impressed on this and just after the, around 30 minutes my hr interview was there so they just basically do nothing <laughs> ंग प्रोजेक्ट आई explained it uh, completely and also some uh, questions around uh, uh, dsa question as well and uh, that was it and on on computer science fundamentals got it and another uh, third interview was again on the uh, some uh, some dsa questions and also the project explanation and uh, again computer fundamentals got it Makes sense. Very cool. And you're finally chosen to join PayU now, right? Yeah, PayU. Perfect. And you live in Gurugram? Yes, uh, I am in Gurugram. All right. Cool, man. That was an interesting journey. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, any parting thoughts for people or any questions that you have for me? Yeah. So, for now, I'm uh, confused with the three things that I can do to to improve on that. One is the DevOps. Another is ML Ops, and third is AI. so i have uh, for the uh, for the just for the reference i have no experience in ml hmm. uh which one should i pursue right. for a uh, for a longer term to kick things off i think devops is great if considering you said you have no interest in ml um, i mean that probably means you don't no, have any maths that no, no experience so oh. but you have interest not. i can learn yeah there is a lot of maths involved um If you like maths back in college or J days, if you've done probability or linear algebra, um, yeah. If that interests you, then not the worst thing. It's just a very high learning curve, but very less number of people who know it well. Um, so you know that gives you some advantage when you are getting hiring, uh, when you are getting hired. But I think that's true for DevOps as well. I don't think a lot of people know DevOps well either. Uh, and ML Ops is just a combination. Basically, pick one between DevOps and AI for now. Uh, and then you know maybe in three four months decide do you do you want to merge them in ML Ops um, or not. Uh, But I think I think step one is just pick one amongst DevOps and AI. Uh, I would choose DevOps because that would immediately help you in your current job as well. Um, also, seems like something you know just perfected very quickly in like two three months. Um, and then you know feel free to do whatever. Probably then then get into maths, probability, and the whole AI route. Yeah, I, I'm I know about the non EKS DevOps part, but uh, I'm trying to learn about the e- EKS uh, Kubernetes part. So that was also helpful in my current. Yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult if you've done everything but Kubernetes. Um, it's just again a learning curve of probably fifteen days. Yeah, I'm learning from the cohort too. The video is that lecture. Yeah, I mean, let me know if you need access to cohort. So it's a little slower. Uh, it covers a little bit more uh, in Kubernetes and some other things on top. Uh, so we can give you access. So ask Akash for it, and he'll give you access uh, if that helps. Thanks. Thank you. Man. All right. Cool. Anything else I can help with? No. <laughs> All right. We'll end the pod then, guys. Thank you so much for joining. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.